Assalamualaikum, Shalom, Om Swastiastu, Namo Buddhaya, Salam Kebajikan. First of all, let us express our gratitude to the Almighty God who has bestowed His grace and blessing so that today we are reunited into this place in a good condition. I am Mario Basilius Adrianos Fernandez and please allow me on this grateful occasion to have a say regarding to the utilization of artificial intelligence in education. Ladies and gentlemen, since 1947, education curriculum in Indonesia has been changed 12 times till the latest one in 2022, which called Curriculum Merdeka, or in English called Independent Curriculum. Changes and challenges are inevitable due to the implementation of the curriculum including this one. One of the major challenges that deserve our attention is the utilization of artificial intelligence in school environments. Now, let's take a deeper look on this matter. The use of AI is an issue that we need to consider carefully, especially in context of challenges faced in implementing it. While AI can provide various benefits in the learning process, we must also understand its impact on our independency as a students and the role of teachers. Ladies and gentlemen, firstly, utilizing AI to complete school assignment results to great efficiency and convenience. Students can quickly access information, analyze data, or even use AI websites to produce a better result. Unlike commonly used search engine like Google, which just lay out various possible answers to the keyword, AI websites such as ChatGPT provides more accurate on one direct answer to the keyword. Nevertheless, by relaying more and more on AI, students may lose their critical skills such as problem solving, analysis, and deep understanding. Secondly, this trend would further reduce teachers' roles in the learning process. Indeed, curriculum merdeka implies that teachers are merely facilitators and students should be independently learning. But do you think by relaying more on AI, students and teachers can build a cooperative relationship, including personal connection, emotional expression, and contextual understanding? And don't forget about the risk of the academic fraud and data thief that may occur when students access and use AI website. And opportunities for plagiarism or anecdotal use of AI in accomplishment of academic tasks. Who will be the supervisor? Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to emphasize the importance of us viewing these challenges as an opportunity to improve our educational system and completely develop each student's potential. The use of AI can improve efficiency and accessibility. In addressing these challenges, we must take a thoughtful approach, maintain a balance between technology and human education. In the face of future uncertainty, students' and teachers' interactions remain crucial to create a more lucid future. Let's remember the ultimate goal is to create an educational environment that can empower every student to success in changing world. With cooperation, thoughtful regulation, and awareness of these challenges and opportunities, we can achieve this vision and shape a brighter future for our educational outcomes. I do appreciate your time and attention today and hopefully what was I said earlier can have a positive change for our educational outcomes. I apologize if my word seems patronizing in a way. That is all and thank you.